Welcome to ATP Customs. Well, today is a weekly report, and it's a fun one. We have some exciting, fun things to discuss. I had to put the zombie in the shop because it is the first time this thing has been in the shop, actually in the shop since we built it. That thing spent about 10 months right where the Monster Blazer is building it. And it turned out so much better than I thought it was gonna look like. And then we just kept working on it. And there it is, I had to put it in the shop. So let's go over a whole bunch of fun stuff today on all of these vehicles. I'll try and make it quick. On the Zombie, we got the most of the frame all undercoated. We got a large part of the deck done. Got the running boards bolted up. My transmission guy will be here to service it because uh, that is Doug, our tuning expert, and I only trust his opinion on this matter. So we will have the trans transmission sorted out and the interior is all most done being detailed. Just got to shampoo it. We're going to do possibly a tiny bit of body work and, and renew those running boards. And I don't know if I'm putting tires on it, but the zombie's coming along nicely. Oh, yes, and the steering box. We have a brand new steering box coming for it tomorrow. So that thing, as soon as I get all the mechanical aspects of it, I'll finish making it look awesome. And then it'll be ready for sale. But I just had to stick it in the shop because it's been so long since this thing got built and been in the shop. It had, it had to see the shop again. Now, on the awesome willies. I spoke to the owner about five minutes ago and I'm so excited. He, uh, he's really gonna let me throw some cool ideas at this. So we get to look at all new wheels. We're not sure what we're going with. Somewhere between 17s and 22s, we're unsure. Obviously it depends on price and all that, but we get to do some cool lighting. So uh, we are going to look at possibly some halos or underglow or some wheel lights. The wheel lights will depend on the wheels because uh, you kind of got to go with 20 inch wheels or larger to fit the wheel lights on. But uh, we're going to have uh, another set of wheels we can try on this thing, I think by Friday, because Mr. White got himself some new wheels to go with his tires, which you will hopefully be seeing before the weekend. I haven't even seen them. So I'm very excited. He's been waiting for those wheels for a very long time. So, lots of lighting and cool stuff on the wheelies. And we uh, are through probably three quarters of the mounting of the body. We actually had to make a bunch of brackets to get the gauges mounted, but we now have all of the brackets so that we can put the gauges in tomorrow. We will have to mount the fuel tank and figure out where is it gonna fill because this thing has no filler hole for it. Now, I'm not positive on this one, but from what I read, uh, there was a whole bunch of these, these willies in the Philippines for a lot of years, and I was told about 30 different companies popped up in the Philippines and were making stainless bodies for them. And the reviews aren't great on how they fit, but I'm almost certain that this one is from possibly a newer one, maybe a 48 newer willies, the body, but we're making it work. It's, it's not too far off. Uh, it should be all done. We are a little uh, behind what I estimated, but I think all the body will be bolted on tomorrow. And then we can button up uh, the fenders and the grill and the hood. And then we're on to the fun stuff. I'm trying to figure out an automatic transmission, but I don't care because we get to put cool lights on it. So that's exciting. I love my lighting. I love wheels. I think everything should get wheels. And uh, Oh yes, we are going to do a new steering column. Obviously a stainless or chrome or polished because it came with that one. And it's just way too long and it's uh, almost touching your chest when you try to mount it in there. So we'll be on to that soon. And I'm really itching. I, I think we have to possibly do something stereo wise in this. I have a lot of stereo equipment laying around. We have a little bit of room we can play with there. It's not a lot, but yeah, I, I'd like to get creative. I just have to do it. We got to do something fun for stereo in this thing because it's awesome. Now for the fans of the jet boat. We got a call today and I have dropped the jet boat motor off. They are going to get on it immediately. And they are said, as long as there is uh, assembly lubricant still in the motor, they will cover the whole thing. And there certainly is, because it's only got one minute on it. So our motor is getting covered and we may have that thing metal flaked and on the lake in September, like I had hoped. I was hoping this month, but I'm really thankful that those guys are gonna do it so I will throw them a massive shout out once we get that motor back and everything's okay we won't be throwing names around at all yet 
But that's so exciting. The jet boat is going to be running this year. I can't wait. I just want to try it out once. And tomorrow we have a plane coming in and it's cool. I believe it's a biplane, but I don't know my airplanes, but it is the oldest running airplane in Canada. And he's got it all polished up. I'm going to bring it over tomorrow afternoon and we're going to do a feature on an airplane because why wouldn't you? It's the oldest plane in Canada. I have to do it. And it just happens to be at our airport. And yes, we're going to go over to Eagle Industries and we're going to get that LS powered Tahoe and do a feature on it. A gentleman did respond to my video and requested to see it. He wants to see it. So ask and you shall receive. We're going to bring that thing in. Oh yeah. Had to pull the air conditioner out. We thought summer was maybe done. Nope. We have a heat wave coming this weekend of somewhere around 34 degrees Celsius, which dock station, I can't remember. You said 35 is 95 degrees Fahrenheit. I think that's what it was. So yes, we have another hot weekend. So I might have to keep the air conditioner. And uh, this place is going to get a massive cleanup pretty quick. Once we get a couple of these vehicles done. Yeah, who are we kidding? There's going to be a bunch more show up. That's what always happens. There you go. That is your weekly report. All the fun stuff going on. We're just having an absolute blast this week doing what we're doing. We just love what we're doing. Wouldn't want to be doing anything else. Oh, yes. Here, let's have a look. See that little hood up there? That is the hood for the wheelies. Kind of give you an idea of how small it is compared to the hood on the, the blazer. Wheelies hood, Chevy hood. Wheelies hood, Chevy hood. That thing is so tiny, it's awesome. I love it. Really, really thankful and excited to have been able to build a 42 wheelies that was never on my bucket list, but now that it's here, to build a stainless one, that is so cool. So now once we get the body on, we will also be dealing with the blue and the red colors underneath. So we're getting close. By the weekend, that thing might actually, uh, we'll pull that thing outside and have a look with new wheels and tires on it, just because uh, we have to try it out. So thank you for watching. And I hope you subscribe.